Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Don Gasterborn, board built for theme parks and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. Where well, today we're going to be talking about uh, the brand new coaster that's set to be coming in a couple of years to Parque Vona Madrid in Spain. Now obviously construction on the site is starting to grow a bit more and we're going to be looking at the latest construction in this video. So before we get started guys, make sure you do like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you are new around here click the notification bell so you never miss youtube video check the community posts because i have posted the link of how to vote in the clamshell awards i want to win best channel i want to win an award of some kind this year so please 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 clamshell awards links in the community of how to vote go and do it please Check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Parque Warner Madrid's brand new coaster. So as you can see on your screen right now, construction or deconstruction is starting to take place in the old Batman Night Flight Simulator building. Now obviously this will be torn down, ready for construction to begin on a brand new roller coaster. Now this roller coaster is set to be manufactured or rumoured to be manufactured by Intamin and will be opening for the 2023 season or rumoured to be opening for the 2023 season. Now, obviously, Parque Vorda Madrid haven't invested in a thrill coaster in quite a while, um, or a coaster itself, to be perfectly honest. Uh, to be honest. Um, obviously, this is going to be uh, a very interesting situation. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what the park do. Now, obviously, um, in terms of what kind of intimate that we're looking at, I reckon it's going to be something on the lines of Tutalis. Now, that is, of course... Um, a a coaster coming to Park Asterix in a couple of years. That is an Intamin Multipass launch coaster. Now, obviously, with Parque Vorna Madrid, um, obviously yesterday or just a couple of days ago, um, they were building footers, uh, round shape put, uh, pretty big round shape footers. Um, now, a rectangle concrete base and a rounded footer on top. And the hope and the hope around the forums is the track is like Velocicoaster. Now that is again, that's another example of a coaster we are looking at here, a Velocicoaster type coaster potentially. Um, and with more footers taking place, it'd be interesting to see how the project shapes over a period of time. Now it's time to share my thoughts on the possible Intamin roller coaster for 2023 at Parque Vorna Madrid. This could get interesting. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about the brand new Parque Vorna Madrid launch coaster for 2023. Of course, the rumor is Intamin. The rumor is a Velocicoaster style coaster, and that would be a wonderful addition to the park. I think it'd be a really great addition. The theme, I'm not too sure it's going to be yet. I mean, it's I mean, they're tearing down the Batman Night Flight Simulator building. So, obviously, fingers crossed, it could be superhero themed. It could be themed around that, depending on where the entrance is. Uh, but obviously it could be themed to another area that's sort of, you know, opposite this area. Um, obviously it's quite a decent sized project, so obviously, you know, you we're expecting something very interesting. Um, and you actually saw a Google Maps image at the end of that report. Um, you saw construction pictures, but you also saw a Google Maps image um, at the end of the report. And it was a, the site in question, pretty much the site in question, where you see the night flight simulator building round near um, the, the coaster. And you've got that round bit as well of tree area, which can go over as well in terms of the layout and the, the effectiveness and the, the potential of the layout as well. So with Intamin possibly potentially on board, it's going to be very, very interesting. Now, obviously, like I said, I think we're looking most likely here at a Velocicoaster style attraction. And I think a Velocicoaster style attraction would be brilliant because Velocicoaster is treated like the 
Goliath and the Colossus of all the coasters uh, at the moment with the hype around it. So I think the Velocicoaster definitely lives up to the hype it's been, you know, expected to have. Uh, so something like that would be amazing. Not an exact clone, but maybe a few elements, you know, different to the Velocicoaster layout. But something similar in terms of the way it smoothly transitions in and out of elements would be fantastic for the park. So... I'd be completely on board with this, and I hope you guys might be on board with it as well. So, uh, that is going to be it for this theme park news and update on Parquet Vaughan in Madrid. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast of life. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Parquet Vaughan in Madrid. Fantastic day.